very excited to be here with the boys and girls of Bisto Blanco, currently on tour in support of the wonderful new album, Live from Berlin. Mm -hmm. Kids, welcome to Psycho Battle. Thanks. You have Thanks to guess which one of us are boys and which one of us are girls. Okay, well, we know Calico, we know Chuck. Let's introduce the rest of the band. My brother Latham, guitar player. Guitar player. My name is Rob Zombie. I play flute. <laughs> <laughs> Drums. Yeah, the shirtless wonder. Guys, <laughs> great album. I've been describing it to people as sort of uh, Motorhead meets the B-52s. It's nice. Wow. Yeah. I like nice. that. Well, well, it's riff rock. You got cool riffs. You got cool Wait till you hear the new record, man. You're going to really love that. Well, well, how do you guys describe it? Is it just old time rock and roll? Or you know, what? I try not to describe it. The cool thing is, is we've kind of let the fans describe what we are. which And I find that, you know, I find it to be a really nice compliment, to be honest with you. I mean, you just brought up two scenarios that I never would have put together so I mean whatever you guys think we sound like we we kind of go into this thing with an open canvas okay. so it's just whatever happens naturally musically and I mean obviously we got a sound and we've got an energy that we want to you know portray and, and things like that but for the most part we don't try not to overthink it okay we let the music kind of do the talking nice and why was the album recorded in Berlin the Live from Berlin album was recorded while we were on tour with a band called the Berse Uncles, which is a huge German band. They're uh, from Frankfurt, Germany, and they're massive over there. They sing in German. Uh, Jan is very aware, uh, very aware of them. He's you know, he's also very Cologne. German. He's and I was the German. only one that actually understood what they were singing. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you the one so, doing the stage pattern on the live album? Because it's, yes. yeah, yes. it's not your typical Frampton. How's everybody doing? It <laughs> no, sounds we like, tried that and it was like <laughs> crickets. So yeah. it's more like we'll tell you how you're doing, goddamn it. It's yeah. German. <laughs> well, plus if you're opening for a band that big, you kind of got to get the energy going, and mm -hmm. you don't just go like. Hey, are you guys having fun? Yeah. You <laughs> are having fun! <laughs> that really You're having works. it. <laughs> well, now, Calico, you're the most recent addition to the band, correct? You, uh... Yeah, I mean, yeah. Lady, just what made you want to throw in with this band of hooligans? Well, um... <laughs> <laughs> well! Uh, well, I think that the idea was really solid, and I don't... I think that, that sort of the concept was we wanted to do, like, a natural-born killers but set to music. Oh. And it's like, you don't know which one to be more afraid of, but then like sometimes it's like, he's more assertive, I'm more assertive, and then the band gets involved, and it's just like this cool machine, and so, like, I wanted to be involved. If it were gonna do it, and if I was gonna tour again, because I stopped touring with, with my dad, with Dallas, mm -hmm. so if I'm gonna do it again, it's gotta be something I really can like, sink my teeth into. It's gotta be like an actor piece, almost. So, you know, as, as the show's developed, and we've added, you know, we're basically bringing the songs to life. And so that's where that's where I shine. That's that's my thing. That's okay. what I bring to it. So um, yeah, I mean, it's each and every one of these guys is super talented. I mean, there's not one person that's like dragging ass and that one. Well, sh yeah. Okay. Young, <laughs> young. <laughs> well, no, man. Okay, well, wait, well, wait a minute. Well, and Chuck, you, you got the coolest gig in the world playing bass with the Alice Cooper band. What made you decide? Ah, I need an outside. Project. Uh, yeah, man. I what did? Why? Yeah. What was I thinking? Yeah. I, I know. I, I sometimes I question right now, myself that Simpsons. all the time. I could be. Yeah. And that's that's probably, a problem. You and could that, be home watching The Simpsons. We're doing yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, and that's true. exactly it. I mean, that was sort of the thing. Was that I felt like. I, I love playing with Alice Cooper. I love the guys in the band, and, and uh, you know I've been part of so many great things in his career, and I'm just so happy that my name is listed as one of the guys with Alice Cooper. I mean, I've been there for 16 years, but I also have a dream, mm -hmm. and I have I'm a songwriter, and I have ideas, and I, I just felt like Bisto was going to be, you know, my. Uh, you know, my way to just kind of get my art out there, okay. and, you know, and, and I been listening to rock and roll since I was a little kid, you know, and that kind of that never goes away. Mm -hmm. You never become a, not a fan. You never become too good. Um, and I, I think that, you know, Bisto just sort of was one of those things I had to I had to do to 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 kind of fulfill the rest of my legacy. Cool. Yeah. Now, guys, any uh, we we love a good horror story because uh, you know we've heard a few. Any good Spinal Tap moments from the <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, the, the list is today. Long. Oh, yeah. list you is want long. one from today yeah. Yeah. or yesterday or the day before? <laughs> well, it's so great when things go horribly wrong. Anything come to mind? Should we talk about the customs or no? No, the oh, fire, oh, oh, the fire on fire. stage. Tell me about the, the, I like my hands caught on no, fire in the back or the fire on stage. We've had a couple fires. So, so the, stupid with a flare gun. The fun, yeah. <laughs> no, the fire we're talking about is we're playing a song, we're in Italy, in this club, and... Spain. Uh, Spain. Spain? No, yeah, it's Italy. Italy for this Italy. story. Anyways, <laughs> Spitaly, we were there, and we were in Spain. 
and uh, we we're playing in this club in the amp. Was it the amp? I just want to get it right. Monitor. The monitor. <laughs> the monitor caught on fire. And uh, he's singing, and Why everybody's like, playing? yeah, everybody's oh, like no. really in the zone, and I'm the only one that sees it. So I go up to Chuck, and I kind of go like this, and he bats me away. He thinks I'm playing with him, and I'm like, I'm not playing with you. And he bats me away again. I was like, so I go over to Chris, and I'm like, Chris! And he's playing, he's like, yeah! I'm like, no! Chris! And he's all, woo! And I finally took the flag Start I was holding, and I started hitting him with the flag, and he turns around and looks at me. Yeah, and him. He turns around and looks at me, and he goes, what? And I go, we're on fire! <laughs> and he's like, why didn't you say that in the first place? <laughs> so we turn around and our, you know, the drum wedge is just, it's it's on fire. And I'm wondering why the people and the audience are kind of just, everybody's sort of kind of freaking out a little bit. And uh, so yeah, we uh, we caught that sucker on fire. And uh, the, the funny thing was, is that the promoter insisted that uh, he put a cigarette out in the monitor wedge at the time, and that's why it caught on fire. He said one of us put a cigarette oh, out. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. The and right wedge. when we realized it's fire, everybody just kind of effed <laughs> off, and we just left the stage <laughs> and <laughs> left the drummer up there doing a drum solo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, we and we were closed the, the closet. And we like closed this. the door too. We're like, eh, whatever. But oh, then remember, poor drummer. Dude, yeah. He does have a name, Sean. <laughs> you, the dude jumped up from the crowd. A guy just jumped up on stage, took the flamer, and ran outside and just threw it outside. We were like. Thank you. you. I'd like to know more about where you guys come from musically, uh, your uh, background. Uh. Um, I've been playing in a bigger punk band called Good Riddance since 1995. From where? Uh, Santa Cruz, California. Okay. So I've spent the last 26 years touring in punk bands, actually. Can I just say, interject yep. real quick, how we met Sean was, uh, you know, he was playing on our latest, our new record. Now, mm -hmm. we originally had a drummer by the name of Tim Husung. Tim had some prior arrangements and couldn't do some tours. And uh, our producer, Ryan Green, says, hey, I got a guy that I, I, you got to have just play on your record. Because there were some songs. These guys are in Germany. It was a little bit tough getting them over here. And he goes, I've got a guy that's got to play on these songs. So he brings in uh, Sean, and, and he, he just destroyed it. Just and he was up. so great. And it, not only that, but his personality was wonderful. And this is just a lesson for all you kids, man. When you get an opportunity, Go in there and go after it, because Sean really came in prepared. He was a kick-ass drummer, kick-ass guy, and um, afterwards he just says, hey, keep my number if you ever need me. And uh, I think it was like about a week or two went by, and we I called, called him up and said, I need <laughs> you. <laughs> but he came in prepared. He's been a great you know, fit for the band. He's a brother for life, and uh, we really love having him. He's, he's just a stellar drummer. You guys also, you pay homage to your, uh, to your Alice roots with a cover of Feed My Frankenstein on yeah. a new album. What, what was it about that song that you said, this is the one we want to cover? Well, uh... I always felt like that song, it was one of my favorite songs to do live with Coop, and I thought the younger generation kind of got it as well. And I just kept thinking like, man, we could do a badass cover of this song. And I really wanted to do, we were getting a lot of requests from the Alice fans, like, hey, you guys should cover this song or this song, and it got my wheels spinning. Like, maybe we should cover a tune, and if we do, I'd like it to be Feed My Frankenstein. I just think it fits. It was a bit hard to convince Calico to do it, because she was so adamant about not. And the one thing we don't want to do is we just don't want to have to ride the coattails. We, we want to establish ourselves, although all due respect and love for that oh, for the yeah, camp, totally. but it's like we want to prove to ourselves and to the fans out there that we're our own thing, mm -hmm. our own entity. And it was very important for us to be an original band. We didn't want to have to play covers. So if we're going to do this, let's make it original. And I think that's when Calico sort of heard the idea of what it was 
she was a little bit more convinced. You know? So does it, does that uh, preclude the concept of any uh, Bisto Blanco concept albums coming out? Bisto think... Blanco goes to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's already Kevin been to Castell. hell. We're gonna go to hell. Bisto that Blanco. was another Spinal Tap moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we actually you know? did go. To I think a lot of our songs. I mean, especially the last the last studio record, the self titled Bisto Blanco song, and this next one coming up. You'll hear it just being a little bit more conceptual, lyrically wise, and it's okay. not done intentionally. It just so happens that when you're all in there writing together, it just happens. Well, we're definitely all like involved, especially like diversified wise. Like now that we're doing, you know, the videos and the, you know, we all kind of have an eye for that artistically anyway. And so everybody's kicking in on like, you know, outfits and videos. You know, we're we're starting to write a short film around oh, one really? of the songs, and oh, so nice. it's like, you know, we're really kind of branching out because people kept saying, you guys are like, you know, you're you're characters. You're playing these characters. You're like a comic book up there. So we've got again Chuck's wheels spinning, and he goes. You know, you're in the film business because let's let's do that. So we're working on that too, which I'm super excited about. Well, well sonically, your vocals on the live album are kind of like the, the icing on the cake with this thing. All this, you know, you got a, a lot of yeah, double rumbling going on. She gets all the credit then. for all that stuff. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> sonically, I suppose. Oh, I mean, so good. So, so anyway, so. Uh, <laughs> That's the calico <laughs> 